So I was actually released from jail, Valley Street in Manchester, and through the safe station I found Green Mountain. It was still a new rehab at the time, and they could get me in right away. So it was pretty much an option between go up to Green Mountain and try to get this thing, or have my probation terminated and do a prison sentence. I didn't go to Green Mountain because I wanted to be sober. I didn't go because I was ready or had that willingness. I went because it was mandated. It was better, it was a better option than going to jail or going to prison. I got there and it was different from any other rehab that I had been to in the past. The mountain to me was a special place. And what it did for me is it made me have that that personality change. Like I literally had a psychic change while I was there to the point where I was terrified to leave. For the first time I had like a healthy fear. Like I knew full well that if I left Green Mountain that I wasn't gonna stay sober. But also the number one thing that I didn't wanna do and what I wasn't willing to do was go to sober living. And they told me time and time again at Green Mountain, if you wanna stay sober, you have to do what you don't wanna do. Like you have to do what you least want to do and fear the most to stay sober. And I went to Queen City. And looking back, I know now that if I didn't go to extended care, that I wouldn't have been able to go back to Manchester where I was from, where I was comfortable and make it. Queen City is exactly what I needed. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted to be doing. You know, I couldn't sleep over at my family's house, at my girlfriend's house. I didn't have the freedom to do what I wanted, but I, at that time in early recovery, I shouldn't have been doing that, you know? My thoughts and my thinking was still delusional. I still thought like I could run the show and um, that I'd be okay doing what I wanted to do and not being made to go to meetings and have a curfew and, and continuously work on my steps. Queen City gave me a sponsor day one. And so I was held accountable every week. How many times have you called your sponsor? How many times have you met with him this week? Did you go to a meeting every day? And those things kept me doing the same routine that I was doing on the mountain for so long. And it kept me like fully mind, body, spirit in the program and doing all the things that work. That's what worked for me. That's why I'm here today. That's how I got sober.